hello guys uh, this is another video that I promised in my previous introductory video that I created about this tool so I purchased this tool from Petrinac uh, Mac, it, the name of the tool is macro tool works um, maybe <laughs> maybe the name can be a little better but the thing is this is an amazing tool and I'm going to demonstrate how you can do literally hours worth of work um, within five minutes and you don't have to do anything except creating any macro and by the way you don't need to do any coding the software is going to take care of uh, you know the coding part itself and you can then run through any shortcut keys or or you know you can define different triggers um, the way you would like to execute it but uh, this purpose of this video is basically to demonstrate as I promised in my previous video to demonstrate that how you can create a macro a command macro that will have uh, you know many commands and um, it's going to run all those commands in sequence you know uh, take your input as appropriate and all that so you know without further ado uh, let's discuss more about what we are going to do so everyone will have some kind of a music library right so uh, you will have some kind of a music library uh, which will have uh, thousands of music files something like this so I have this a very small set of uh, albums so I have one two three four and five so five albums here and the purpose of 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 this macro that I'm going to demonstrate basically what I want basically is it, uh, the macro reads first of all finds out this folder so maybe it will ask me this folder or I can just hard code it or the best thing is you know the that uh, because if I want to run this macro again and again on different folders uh, maybe in some network drives or, or local file or maybe uh, in some of the PC and things like that so it's not a good idea to uh, you know hard code the the path what I'm gonna do is I will create a macro that will ask for a folder I will give this particular folder and then it goes to each file let's say it will go to this file first and what it's going to do uh, let me do manually basically what I want to do so let me show you first I want to do something manually what I want to do so let's say I came to music folder then I come here then I copy its name so I copied its name and then I went to notepad in notepad I pasted it and now what I want to do I want to remove I mean of course dot mp3 is also removed other than dot mp3 I also remove that part so you know from the uh, end of the the file name and then from the beginning of the file name I just want to remove this part uh, so I just want to remove this first five characters so let me go here yep that's what I want to do and then I want to copy this so I want to now copy this and then I want to create a folder of its name so I want to create a folder so I created a folder with that name and then I want to then move all these files all these files into it see and I want to do this automatically not for this one album I want to do this for all the five albums however if you have let's say a thousand albums no big deal once the macro is created the macro is going to do this literally automatically for you uh, without any uh, any manual intervention except you provide the folder and that's it within that folder it's going to take care of everything itself so let's undo what we did but I hope you got uh, basically what we're trying to do here we want to just take the files of the album and move them into the respective album folder it looks pretty simple task especially when you look at the five albums but mostly especially all those people you know music lovers hardly anyone would have only like four or five albums generally people will have hundreds of thousands of albums you know all the beautiful music that they have collected or bought or uh, you know uh, some free music available uh, that you know you would like to uh, listen to so of course you would have thousands of hundreds of thousands of music files that you would like to you know organize something like this so let's undo let's undo so I'm just gonna take these files again back so again we come here and move the files back by the way you can create a macro for it <laughs> uh, you don't need to even do this thing manually but anyway look let's 
see how far we go uh, stay with me you know i'm not a regular blogger i'm just a user and uh, you know i just found this tool so amazing it just blew my mind uh, i'm just thinking that if this can help anyone uh, that's the only intention i have so you probably know this tool from my previous uh, introductory video so this is the tool and basically this tool can help you create macros so you know i have all my macros here this is just the folder i created for the test macros so i'm just going to create a test macro here so let's without further ado let me demonstrate basically how you can start from zero so when you first install the software it's going to be something like this of course you know i have more macros because that's what is is helping me uh, automate things uh, so many things but in your case it will be less, just like this uh, you know you don't have any macros very simple if you want to create a macro come here add general macro come here all you need to do is that uh, macro with command only so uh, you know commands only so just create this macro with commands only you can rename it if you want so let's say uh, we call it music uh, files um, arrangements okay or maybe arrange whatever you call it you can name anything okay so so now this is the macro now this macro will have its own commands so first of all this macro related all the commands are at the bottom so when you select any macro here if you have two macros let's say let's create one more macro let's say you have some kind of a rich text macro so so this rich text ma related macro related uh, commands and everything is at the bottom if i select this one okay so now the music file arrangement uh, macro is selected so all the commands are at the bottom okay so without further ado let's get started you know let's create this macro so you will get an idea basically what we can do so uh, let me so this is the music folder on which we want to work let's minimize that one all right so what we want to do first is we want to open a folder right so let's so this is where you basically add the commands uh, this is if you add the command above your cursor or that means before that will be ex that command will be executed before wherever you are your cursor is this one is like after uh, you know wherever you are so it doesn't really matter maybe there should be just one command you just move your cursor where you want and then just hit the add button it's a facility uh, but it doesn't matter for me at least okay so what do we do we click on that one either of these you basically now are ready to add the command now look at this beautiful thing I have never seen something like this that the help is inbuilt with the, with the command I mean I have never seen something like this anyway but this is very intuitive okay so what I want to do I want to select a folder so let's see what we can do select let's see if we found something with select a file and folder manipulation so nothing there uh, select it can't be clipboard keyboard commands uh, keyboard commands not there not there uh, how about uh, folder folder so let's see file manipulation yeah it can be there so uh, by the way I'm just gonna work with you uh, as we go along so you know we, we will make it happen if we get stuck if I get stuck somewhere you know of course I'll get the help from the development team but uh, we should be okay because everything is here so let's see how we go with this so for the directory we have copy create move open we don't want to open the folder we just want to we just want to select the folder so open means you the the windows explorer will open so we don't want to open the folder in windows explorer what we want to do is we just want silently macro select a folder which just just takes the input from us so because it's oh okay so it's going to take the input from us that means i think it should be uh it should be it takes the input from us so it's all about uh some kind of uh, software thing so let's see select folder uh, is there anything 
okay so couldn't find anything maybe we can take the help by the way so if we cancel this one if we take open the help okay so if if I want to select the folder uh, I don't want to copy uh, no zip no zip no delete no uh, filled form filled uh, doesn't look like that one I uh, generate free macro no no macro command editor no 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 not that one I don't want to move files not yet operation operation okay so variable ah variable operation oh that's right so okay so I'm, if I okay so here it is there you go so select underscore folder so this shows um, uh, shows basically select folder dialog uh, that's what we want and saves the full path of the selected folder so whatever folder that I'm going to select it is going to uh, it is going to take the entire path to some kind of a variable result oh, I like that you know what I like that let's close uh, let's minimize this let's go to what did it say it said uh, instead of that you know what let's rather I think it said something like where uh, something like this so let's see yeah there is some oh un under text and variable commands oh there you go so so this is the command we want okay so let's select this let's select this we'll figure it out uh, variable for see look the help is already there <laughs> so uh, we, you know we just can just go ahead and, and, and see how we go so variable for the result and what this means is when I select the folder it is going to select the entire path of the folder into this kind of a variable variable means some kind of a name um, in which it's going to store temporarily for us the software is going to do that right uh, how about da, 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 da. how about um, that's a variable selected folder name so this means that whatever the folder I have selected its name is going to be stored in this specific variable input variable well um, I don't want to select any input variable uh, there's no input variable applied for this anyway so just, let's just ah uh, ha, 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 full suite of all the commands we just want the select folder for this particular one and you know what we don't want to select anything else we just want to select the folder and it just wants we just want that path that's all so let's do this there you go so look this command is right in front of you so this is a command it's going to run we don't care what that is and what it does the entire coding is actually done by the development team when we do th this then okay now let's test this you know we, we I mean normally I think it's a good idea with that whatever that we do and this is what I learned basically with, through my you know last month's usage of this is that whatever that you do you know keep testing and so let's do one thing um, let's add some kind of a message which by the way I use quite a bit um, this message thing so this message yeah that's the one so let's add a message and in this message text of the message is um, that uh, we have selected and we need to put the variable like this selected folder name and then again percentage when you put percentage and the uh, you know between two percentages when you put the name of the variable it just means the value of that variable is going to be displayed so whatever that is the current path it should hopefully it should display so we have selected this folder in previous command okay so let's uh, window title oh this is this is information for us so yeah uh, everything else let's keep it default and that's it we say okay you know what let's do one thing let's execute this so before we do that let's save it saved it it's a, it's a good idea to you know always save it now look at this look at this beautiful thing uh, okay so that's the folder we want to work in now look at this what happened here is basically it just opened us a bra uh, a kind of a pop-up in which we just want to select our folder we know our folder is in downloads and music downloads and music and now when I click OK it hopefully should us give us another pop-up with a message hopefully correct path let's see 
so we have selected uh, this is it so you know downloads folder music folder that's right that's right music is the folder uh, folder in our previous command that's right so that means so far successful we have been successful so far okay so we have successfully selected the folder now what do we do what what we want to do next now we want to use this folder name and uh, da, 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 da. what we want to do is we want to take this folder basically uh, and within that folder so let's let, let's think a little uh, deeper into this okay so all we already know the folder by now so the software knows the folder by now what we want the software to do we want the software to go into every single file every single file of this folder and then do that, that man thing that manually I did before in the beginning of this video so that's it okay so that means that we want the, uh, the macro to go into the folder to each of the files okay let's go back to our macro and let's try another command <clears throat> so we want uh, and I know this function already by the way uh, there is a file enum file enum and basically what this file because I run a macro before so the, what this file enum function does basically is it's going to th th there it is so file enum what it is going to do is that it's going to in our case what we are going to do with this function is we give that folder name to this function so this function is going to take the folder and then each file of that folder is going to be stored in a variable array array means um, uh, it's something like um, uh, you know let's say Microsoft employees is, is an array so Microsoft employee bracket 1 Microsoft employee bracket 2 Microsoft employee bracket 3 that means and then micro dot 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 Microsoft empl uh, employee bracket uh, let's say I don't know let's say uh, 200,000 300,000 whatever that is so all those employees are basically stored in this variable Microsoft employee so I'm just giving you an example so what we're going to do is that we are going to let's let's go with this function so folder we want to give the name of the folder you know what is the name of the folder you know yeah that's it's V selected folder name so that's the actual folder but you know what we cannot do it without percentage because we want the value of the of the variables so uh, you know this is the variable that means this is the entire path normally we should enter path here so the system the 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 function doesn't expect us to enter variable here it says enter the path of the folder and when we want to enter the value this is the value not the variable it's not it doesn't expect variable it expects the um, the uh, normal value so this is the value we just put the value there and uh, option do we want to do do we do we have any folders inside the the main folder of course we don't have any folders see we don't have any folders and that means in our case what we're going to do is we just simply will select files files only because we want this operation to be done for only files no subfolders so then the variable array enumerated item and what this means is that all each file will be stored in which array uh, all the files right so let's say we files simple right and what this means is that in its this function is going to this macro function this command what this command is going to do is going to go to this folder each file of that folder will be stored in this variable v files and what is going to be the array size it's it's going to give us that how many files are there in this folder and this is the variable in which it will store that value so what do you want to do so let's say uh, number of files how about this number of files or you know what let's say number of files good so number of files so and what this means is that this entire folders um, number of files will be stored in this variable so you got it right so we give this uh, we already selected this from the prompt uh, from the previous command the folder it knows the path this is the path we give that path as a command to this 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 command and we only want to perform this operation to files all the files will be stored in this variable the name of each file will be stored in this variable 
and the number of files that the, the this command got will be stored in v number of files this will be some kind of a number we will display so we will know uh, you know how it is let's see how we go so, so the, okay so the, we have given another command what did we do so far we selected the folder and we gave that folder as an input to get some variables already populated with the file names and the total number of files in the folder now let's display this so um uh, okay let's say file name file is so the very first file that it's going to display is v files right v files because that's the the variable in which the file names are going to be stored and um and number of files are let's give the second variable number of files and percentage that's it so what we are doing here is let me actually make it bigger so you know so what we are doing is basically we selected the folder we gave that folder as an input to the second command that command is going to store all the uh, files into file names into the variable v files so we want to display that first file name and v number of files so to how many total number of files are there in that folder it's going to also display so this is the message it's going to display it's going to display this with the correct values with the correct values it's also going to display the dot okay so let's see hopefully it works let's see fingers crossed i haven't done any coding by the way so far just everything is done through the uh, entering the values uh, into the forms that's all let's run it okay so here we are that's correct so we're going to give that folder this is the folder by the way if you look at this this folder it already tells us 65 items total item count 65 we already know music folder has 65 files in it let's see if this tells us correctly so files ah so okay a, a number of files are zero so that means something went wrong that's okay we can do, do troubleshooting so let's close let's stop the the macro for now and let's go back and troubleshoot so what happened here so we selected the folder then we gave that folder name to v selected folder name ah that's why see we gave the folder name but we also need to put uh, i think star dot star and, and and when we say star dot star then it's going to select all those type of files so this is the full path we just otherwise we just give the folder so let's try it again let's try if this works i just all i did is star dot star so it's something like you know here i do something like this star dot star enter so i mean it doesn't recognize in this one but you know it should recognize with with the uh, command the reason why i'm saying this is because I mean normally in coding that's what you do you know you enter the entire path including the file names so in, in this case we are saying all the files fingers crossed let's see okay so it's asking us to it's asking us to select the folder so let's select the folder ah there you go look at this so it now gave us the file name which as you as you can see it's the first file it's a very first file and the number of files are 65 yes you're right the number of files is 65 so it didn't have to we don't have to count because the windows explorer tells us but macro doesn't have the uh, the, the you know the, the the software doesn't have this visibility so it just counted itself uh, and that this function actually did everything for us so far so good now what do we want to do now what do we want to do what we have done so far we selected the folder it already stored all the file names into a variable v files and we already know how many files are there in this folder now we all we want to do is go file by a five now we want to do something 65 times what we want to do 65 times modify the file name create the folder move the files in that folder that's all we want to do right okay so let's go ahead and go ahead and do that 
Okay, so now we want to do some kind of a repeat thing. So let's see if we can add some kind of a repeat command. So let's see. Some kind of uh, repeat. Let's see, where is the repeat? Yeah, that's right. That's what we want. Repeat. Okay, let's add that. Let's see how we go. Okay, so we are basically repeating something. And how many times we want to repeat? So repeat. So the number of repeats, how many times we want to repeat? Do you know how many times? V number of files, 65 times. And 65 is stored in which variable? It is stored in V num bar of files. So it stored this into so now the loop begin now generally what it is is that when the loop begins you have to end the loop otherwise the loop is open ended then I hope there is some kind of a uh, let's see if in the example there is ah oh, there you go so when the we begin the loop oh by the way uh, we don't need to put the percentage we don't need to put percentage we haven't put the percentage I actually my mistake but the thing is we don't need to it wasn't a mistake but uh, be why because uh, in the example as you can see we just we can pass on the variable the function accepts a variable and it takes its value from the variable so that's good look so begin i mean normally the the loop commands will have the variable as an input anyway because the value can change we can we can make the value change so the loop size or or the loop repeats can change um depending on how the macro of you know progresses End loop. This is what we want to do. End loop. So let's find end loop. Loop. No end loop. Yeah. See how this is how it is. Easy it is. You know, just uh, take it, copy and paste. Okay. So what we have done so far, we just simply. Let's save it. We just simply took a folder as an input. Took a folder as an input store its files into v files each file name of that folder is stored into an array of v files uh, a kind of a series of files which is v, v files and uh, v number of files is the variable um, that number of files are there in the folder so now we are going to do something you know and you know what we are going to do that something which is you know we're going to change the we're going to take each file name and we are going to change it um, to create a folder and then once the folder is created we are going to move all those files into that into that uh, folder so all the album files into their own folder so this one loop is for one album so so you know so that's what we are going to do okay so what do we want to do now so now we want to uh, da, 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 now we want to now let's do one thing let's uh, I'm just thinking uh, rather than touching this original file name let's do one thing let's take uh, you know you know let's do one thing uh, I'm just thinking I'm just thinking out loud that if this is the file name if I want to let's say if I want to remove this one two three four five six and seven so if I want to remove the seven characters so you know whatever is after d here i don't want i don't want anything after d so uh, i don't think you can see now you probably you can see now so anything after d here we don't want so there are basically one two three four five six seven seven characters so we want to remove those seven characters but they are at the back how do we know how do we remove those at the back let's see if there is a function for it uh, let's see if there is a code uh, command for it so uh, because this is we are going to do something with variable let's go and check the variables uh, so that makes it oh variables yeah there you are and da -da -da, let's have a look so not encryption no finding parse load some kind of operation uh, that makes sense parse save variable out set variable set uh variable set okay we'll, we'll probably need it later on but let's do one thing let's look at this variable 
operation let's see what do we have here so variable operation what variable operation we want to function uh, we want to perform let's see if we have something that removes number of digits from the end uh, select file select folder okay so that's what we did select folder is what we already did so it was this very much uh, command uh, get text from cli clipboard string append string left string right characters from the end of the input number of characters is given by parameter one are okay copied we don't want to copy we want to remove uh, trim right oh yeah that sounds good string trim right so from the right hand side it's going to trim so characters specified in parameter one okay so we need to specify specific characters but the thing is you know what characters we want to remove we know we know that we want to remove underscore zero one dot mp3 but the thing is that will change for all the files it will be zero two zero three zero four and you know that's going to change for all the files so uh, we don't have any specific um, characters so this uh, you know function is not useful this command is not useful yet um, string insert string replace no we don't replace anything string delete yeah that makes sense so in the input deletes parameter to um, number of characters to delete character starting from a position okay 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 so this can be useful what this is saying is what this function is saying is is that if we run that particular string delete command it is going to ask us that from what this string variable exactly where to start deleting we want to start deleting from d and we want to start deleting from d and we want to delete seven characters from that seven characters from that the problem is we don't know we don't know exactly what is the position of d maybe if we count we know maybe i don't know maybe 20 25 something so it's somewhere here sorry somewhere here we want to know and this will change for all the look at this this file name is bigger than this file name so this will change and what this means is we need to first of all i think we first of all we need to know all the number of characters for this specific file currently we are going to work on this file uh, in this one loop and what this means is that we want to find out the number of characters for the uh, for the um, uh, within the string so within that uh, uh, string so let's find so delete is going to be useful but not right now let's keep going uh, upper lower get uh, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. word get line let's justify uh, indent right numbering we don't want to add number align left align right uh, so these are useful functions but we don't want them yet oh array uh, no not array we want to just use string so, oh there you go string length returns the length of the input let's see if this is useful so let's perform that operation we want to perform let's say string where is it length string length and variable for result and this means that uh, the new variable which is going to be some kind of a number how many characters are there in this string so first of all let's give the input uh, uh, you know input variable because it expects variable we don't need to put percentage so we can simply say v files so our first file name is stored in v files and this command is going to take this v files so take the file name and tell us how many numbers are there so we want to store it into some kind of an integer so this integer da -da 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 um, what, what do we what do we call uh, how about uh, v files length right so that's what we want we want the files length so this is the variable that it's going to store into now let's say okay okay so what do we did what did we do here so we took the first file we we are now in the loop uh, because we are in the loop let's you know show it that we are in the loop okay so what it's going to do uh, it's going to take the f the first file which it already knows all the file names are in this variable so we gave that variable here and all we expect is the length of that file name so let's do one thing a file is this and the length uh, 
a number of characters are what is it v files length let's see v files length right okay so let's store this we store this and we run it let's see what happens so it's uh, now asking us the folder we selected the folder oh my god oh my god so so it basically just took my file name it took my file name and i don't need to count it's already counted the number of characters are 30 so now we know that this any file name has this v file uh, file length v files length number of characters and now what we need to do from these characters we need to remove seven so if we remove seven from it then uh, if we remove the uh, seven from 30 then it will go exactly here exactly here uh, oops exactly here and what's going to happen we can just give this that starting position and then remove seven characters after that let's try this let's try this so far so good um let's see how we go so let's close this again go back here what do we do next now we as a next step now we want to 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 to, to, to perform some kind of an operation so uh what operation we want to perform we want to remove seven from 30 so seven from 30 so that's some kind of a minus operation we want to perform so let's go back to this uh, we don't want to select folder we already selected the folder so let's go here let's say what do we say uh, minus that's what we want to do <laughs> okay so what is this is there a minus function here ah <laughs> there you go okay so uh, that that's what we want to do variable one so variable variable two value is removed from this variable so this value is removed from this value and its overall result will be stored in this variable so it's variable see no percentage so let's do one thing let's just simply copy this we <laughs> we just want this simple so copy go here and paste and we just need to modify it for our use uh, what do we want to do so first of all we want to take the v files length as our first variable v files length so for this we know already know in this particular files case very first files case it's 30 from 30 we want to remove what number seven we want to remove seven and we want to store it into do we again store it back to same v file length yeah let's do that and we can do this by the way so now 30 will become 23 so what this means is that we want to store we want to store the same value so so currently it's 30 but what we are going to do we are going to do 30 minus 7 which is 23 and the 23 is going to store where it's going to again store back into the same variable v files length and this means that it's going to replace 30 to 23 now we will find out we'll find out so let's do this now let's just simply save it and run because we are, the file name will remain the same we haven't done anything with it all we have done is the v files length now became 23 v files length here it should be 23 i hope it works fingers crossed so we selected the music <laughs> file name nothing changed exactly same and the number of characters are now 23 so far it's working absolutely fine let's close this thing let's minimize this oh where are we okay 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 we're, here we are so far it's working so what we have done so far is now we know now we can delete some characters from the file name and for that i think you know that uh, what was that function i forgot the name of that function but let's find out um it was uh, i think it was string delete uh, string delete let's search it in the manual string delete ah, there you go 
what is that function variable ah of course variable operation let's minimize this let's come here let's say ah, there you go it selected it for us now we select that one this time we want to perform the function we already know we want to perform string delete which we already had searched earlier now input variable we know what input variable we want to give so um, in this particular case what we are going to do we are going to do 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 we are going to give v files and that means that entire file name that we had um, that it, it's going to take that file name by the way it expects variable don't put percentage here um, and then variable for result so when eventually the file name is modified where we want to want it to store do we want to store it back to v files let's not do that because uh, you know it will overwrite the file name to something um, that we might need later on so maybe let's uh, what are we going to do here we are going to remove something from right so let's say v files is modified modi modified from right from right so we know that this is a modified file name from the right side okay now let's look at what is parameter one and two and three parameter one okay so that I think will depend on what this delete does if we just go here it okay it doesn't select but anyway oh, there you go so in the input deletes the parameter number two number of characters to delete so number of characters how many characters we want to delete that's parameter two we want to delete seven characters and and where is it string delete characters starting at the position of parameter number one so we know uh, the the position we already know by now uh, we stored this in what was that let's have a look at the uh, v files length okay so v files length and what we are going to do is um, we are going to now we are going to do is is we, we give this file name we ask it to delete from 23 onwards delete seven digits from that point onwards delete seven digits and store the whatever is the modified variable in modified string store it in v files modified right let's see if this works let's see fingers crossed so let's save this and now what we want to do we want to display not v files we already know what v files is we want to display v files modified right so it's going to tell us what, what is modified right let's see i hope it has by this time it has removed those seven characters from the back and the last digit should be d in our first file let's see so music oh my god it actually did okay so uh, look at this it removed as you can see it removed underscore zero one dot mp3 it removed and then of course your number of characters we already know in in that variable is 23 so so far it's actually working what we want to do is now we want to remove the first five characters that's very easy right so we just take it uh, for starting from zero just remove five characters let's see how it goes so we close this one okay we come here and i think we just simply perform the same operation you know we just perform the same uh, operation so let's where is the command let's go back same command uh, variable operation command what we want to do here uh, let's first of, first of all select the operation we want to delete string delete and we know that the starting position is zero we want we know that from zero that means from the beginning we want to remove five characters we already know this input now see we can't give v files because v files was the original file name with dot mp3 we don't want to give that one we want to give the this one modified one this one v files modified right we just modified it right so now 
the input we're going to give v false modified byte modified right and where do we want to store it now we we are going to remove something from the left so let's maybe change this to a new variable v files modified left you can store it in the same uh, uh, variable uh, but we just want to keep it separate of course it's going to occupy a little part of memory maybe you know a couple of characters of memory but let's see let's see so let's see if this works so what we did so far what we did is we took v files file name from the file name we removed the seven characters from the back and now we remove we are removing five characters characters from the beginning from the beginning zero means starting from zero and v files remained as it is the first modified fi uh, the file name we stored it in uh, v files modified right and now we are storing it in v files modified left let's see save run it music okay so it didn't do the trick for us uh, something did not go right uh, it should have removed if it worked it should have removed this for us so something we need to troubleshoot let's find out what's going on so let's close this so here we are what are we not doing right here so v files modified to the right and v files modified to the left so where are we what are we do oh da, 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 da. see what we are displaying is not the correct variable we are still displaying the old variable that's why it's not showing the right one let's do one thing v files modified now we want to display left one that's the one nothing uh, is wrong yet so far let's see let's save this let's display let's again execute so music <laughs> what we did here is one two three four five we removed the first five characters it's gone see it started with a started with a and ended with d which is the actual name of the album is this everything in the beginning is just the name of the speaker and at the back is just the album index zero one zero two zero three like that we removed that and now we have something through which we can we just want to now create the folder with this variable whatever is this variable which variable is this v files modified uh, left so that's the one right okay so let's go back so far it's working um okay so let's go back here and let's uh, see if we have the folder creation command uh, where are we folder creation command let's see uh, you know what let's actually go straight to the folders we already know it will be in folder creation so this is folder manipulation commands directory create yeah that's the one we want folder creation so we want to give the folder what name of the folder we want to create now see there is a trick with this one i think it expects full path so we need to give full path like this right from the beginning do you know do you remember how we can give the full path do you remember do you remember when we selected the folder it saved the entire path into this variable here so let's paste that one here so percentage of course the value we want selected folder name so that folder so this one is basically c blah 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 uh, downloads uh, music and in that now want to we, we want to give the file name of v files modified left so uh, let's look at this so it's going to be from c uh da -da 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 -da, um in in the music and then from here it's going to be this file name and it just wants we we want it to just simply create a folder with this one let's see if this works 
uh, what is this unused why unused must be zero yeah it's zero good okay so let's say okay uh, missing character in really cancel what did we miss oh yeah yeah sorry sorry we need to add percentage of course so let's say okay and let's see so we now there should be folder created when we run this there will be folder created with that name fingers crossed everything automatic let's see so far let's see if there is no folder first uh, yep there is no folder you know what let me show it in other so look there is no folder only 65 items no folder okay let's go back let's go back and let's run it so we run it here it we give the music folder yeah yeah that's right the file name is this <laughs> it created this folder item 66 of course because it created this folder is there anything in the folder of course not yet we haven't done anything we just created the folder anyway automatic we haven't done any manual folder creation it just did everything by the macro let's close the macro for now let's stop it again we come here so so far what we have done is we have created the folder now we want to move all the files let me show you now we want to move all this file from here to here we want to move them into this folder automatically because this is these are the album files for this very specific album how will we do this there has to be some kind of a move command let's go back and have a look uh, we will figure it out so let's go back here let's say move what are we trying to move are we moving directory we are not moving directory we are moving file so yeah we want to move file let's see what we are doing here source folder not again we have to give entire looks like we have to give entire source folder so we know the beginning of the path is we selected folder name you know how it is right so this was the when we selected the folder the software saved the, the path entire path of the folder into this variable we selected folder name so we're just using that the, and then in that we are going to now give that folder name what is the folder name um, uh, when we created the directory we gave the folder name we selected so we selected folder name so that's done now inside that oh sorry 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 not here not here so in this what we want to do this is the source right so that means from here we want to select all the files and what this means is that that in this folder this is the the this is this literal string is is we selected folder name this is what this is now what we want to copy we want to copy not everything we want to copy star and then star so something like this right so and this means that it's going to copy everything all the files that has this adhyatam underscore upanishad in in the name of the file so let's let's see if, if we can do this uh, where are we okay let's go back now we know the file the folder name it was stored in files modified left so let's see if we can say star and give the value of v files modified left you know what was right so files modified left was literally the the the, the variable that we used to create the folder and that means the name of the folder we want to search all the files all the files dot star that means that any extension but we just want that searched in the uh, all the files with that string matching that's all we're trying to do c all the way till music and then in there star adhyatam underscore upanishad star dot star that's what we want to search so that's our source let's see the destination now here that's what it should be so it should be v selected folder name in that we again want to go back to that folder which we just created what was that that was the v oh sorry files modified left 
and you know what inside it so we just put the the uh, the backspace just to show that inside it just you know move it inside this particular folder so what do you guys think you think you guys think this will work um, subfolders no 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 there are no subfolders anyway so let's say no uh, unused unused must be zero so let's put zero uh, variable number of what is this variable number of process oh oh variable for number of processed files it is going to tell us um, it is going to tell us we um, copy number copy success uh, you think this is a good uh, good um, uh, maybe let's change it to you know variable let's change it to maybe number copy success you think that's good and that means that this counter it's it's going to be number how many files are successfully copied are going to be stored in this and variable for number of failures and this is going to be the different one so this is the number oh sorry number um copy failed that means this number copy failed is 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 this variable is if any files files copy fail then this will increment by one if there are 10 files failed copy so this will become 10 so you know this variable uh, everything yeah let's keep everything else you know too complicated otherwise uh, we want to make things simple okay so let's good what we have done so far and now we are going to literally copy all those movie move all those files into our folder now this is the magic command it's gonna move I hope this works this gonna move so let's see let's see you wanna run and see let's go here uh, we want to de delete the folder let's see if what software does with it if you just don't we just keep it that way you know in previous command p previous execution uh, we created the folder but we haven't moved the file so we just select this folder that we want to work on we say okay oh my god it's copying files ah. okay so this was just the same message uh, so let's close this where are we where are we let's go inside I'm gonna double click it fingers crossed if the files are already moved oh my god all the files exactly from 01 to 017 we all sorry 17 we knew that there are 17 albums uh, files in this particular album already there you know let's go back let's now let's do this for all let's move this back to where we are so I moved it back hopefully this is empty yes it is empty and let's delete this yes delete it now we, we are again 65 you know we, we are again where we were but now let's go back to macro what do we want to do now what do we want to do now now we did this for one file we want to do this for all the files uh, what can we do what can we do what can we do what can we do so it, it the, in this particular loop it selected first file and it moved all the files into subfolder you know what that original folders content now changed the original folders content now changed the second file if it goes and find if, if the if the in the second loop if the in the second loop if we ask the software to look for this file the software is not going to find this file because all these files are already moved 17 files are already moved into the moved into the subfolder already done so uh, th these files are not visible uh, are not not there not there no they don't exist in this music folder anymore they are now in the subfolder so how if we just simply repopulate how if we give the this music folder after these files are moved into subfolder how if we again ask the software to repopulate the v files variable with the current all the files so it's going to it's not going to find these files it will start with this and it's going to find all the all the files new files so the remaining basically remaining files you know what I think that's a logical thing to do so let's do one thing I think whatever the command that we ran here this exact very command just copy and paste paste simple okay let's see what we are trying to do here so 
in this command what are we, what are what are we going to do so if we run this command this means that it is going to again use the same path again so that means it's again going to go to the music folder it's not going to ask us it just goes to this music folder and again repopulates that means the v files folder that correct current um, previously had 60 file variables stored in uh, file names stored in this variable now it's going to store 65 minus 17 so that means the remaining files are going to be stored in this folder uh, this variable again and whatever the new number of files are whatever the new number of files are are going to be stored in this variable you know what i have an idea let's after this is done let's see what is v files and let's see what is v number of files and what this means is that it's not going to show us that that adyatam uh, upanishad anymore it's not going to show us that now it is going to show us uh, the, the remaining file it's going to show us the remaining files whatever is the first file remained uh, from the remaining files and total number of files now after we have repopulated these two variables let's run it let's find out by the way it's again going to copy and uh, move all the uh, the uh, files so i'll have to again move back but anyway let's let's just do this one thing before we just run it for everything so let's come here let's give us the input we want to work on this music folder that's where my music files are okay so okay it's, it's moving that's done uh, look the new f new file name is not m no more adyatam upanishad i think those files are moved here yeah absolutely those files are moved there and now the new now the new files v files first name is this and you know what in this folder there are no more uh, 65 files 65 minus um, 17 that's 48 files it shows 49 because it also considers the folder as an item but um, of course 48 files remained you know what now we are ready to execute everything let's close this macro we say okay what I what I do oh oh okay so it actually moved the this i think the macro is ready so let's close this let's close this thing i think because did you see what happened did you guys see what happened so it also moved the second album uh, without i haven't actually thought through that one so let me let's go back let's move it back um let's empty and again basically restore what we did let's also move this album back to the original folder to show exactly how it was yeah this is empty let's remove this okay so again we have 65 items again we are go back uh, we are basically back to where we were now what we're gonna do we come back here let's look at this and think about this we don't want this message anymore because you know it looks like that this message is uh, you don't know but let me show you because i know because i have created a couple of macros um if i want to comment comment then i can comment things out with uh so it's not here let's search for the manuals it's easy because i know um because i have seen in all the examples for example if you see the example here it says look at this comment anything when you put this anything after that is not going to be executed the command the software is not going to look at that anything after this so if i just say uh if i just say comment comment so there you go so it basically shows comments comments so basically comment so anything you put after this it's not going to look at it for example this macro does not does nothing because everything is commented out commented out so this is the way to comment out anything there's some kind of a uh, description if you want to write in your macro uh, that okay this is what's going to happen after this then that's what it does so for that purpose i don't need to even search for it all i need to do is just simply if i put this thing that's it this message thing is not going to be read so let's store it and let's just think think for it for last time before we execute the whole thing what are we doing so we asked the software to ask me which folder i want to work on 
so I selected music folder it stored the music folder path in this variable and what it did it stored all the file names within music folder into v files variable and number of files in that folder that number is stored in this variable then I began the loop within that loop what I did is basically I removed the last seven characters and the first seven characters from the first file name then I created the directory with it once the directory was created I then moved all the files of that album into my new directory and I did this within one loop this is just the first loop then what I did is I asked the software again to rescan how many files remain and what are those files and those files will again go back to the same variable same variable and then this loop ends the very f it, the loop doesn't end but the re first repeat ended uh, it's from here again it's gonna go back to here and again run everything again and you know what this time because we did this last command now that previous files are gone so it's going to work on new files the remaining files and it, it's going to keep running 65 times even though it's it's going to run 65 times uh, we don't need 65 times we have five album five albums it's just going to run five five times for the remaining times it's just going to uh, run does nothing run does nothing because it's not going to find anything no files there so there's nothing to perform anyway all right let's do one thing now we are ready we have commented the message out okay we know what we don't we don't want to run he from here what we want to do is we want to go to triggers let's add the trigger uh, let's add the uh, the uh, keyboard trigger uh, let's say some kind of a hotkey what kind of a hotkey let's say uh, da, 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 da. let's say control alter shift and o show so o control alter uh, control where is control alter shift o yep that's what we want start macro after all hotkeys are re released oh okay no no just start when I press it okay and you know what let's say okay okay and we are ready okay and I think we are ready what this means is that this particular macro this particular macro v files arrangement macro has all these commands these commands are gonna run at our wish you know what we don't need this anymore we don't need this anymore let's minimize this ah get out okay now here we are now because you have macro ready let's say you have 10 or 15 folders all across your network storage device your USB storage device your computer all you need to do is just simply go to the you don't need to go anywhere close anything you know let's say minimize everything even if you minimize everything I'm not gonna minimize everything because I don't want you to see the desktop but look let's keep these things open let's just simply run the command what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do control alter shift O I just ran it ah the macro ran automatically just when I typed control alter shift O let's select the music folder fingers crossed one two and three <laughs> it's just running for the extra times it's all done oh my god unbelievable unbelievable did you guys just see what I did now I have five albums if it's five it's 500 it doesn't matter anymore now it's just gonna run this and organize all the albums within their own files now you can do anything this was just one requirement I have you can literally do anything you want literally you know this software is so amazing you just saw how amazing the software is I haven't done any coding at all no zero coding because I can't do coding anyway uh, the coding is hidden behind these commands um, you know be behind these commands I just had visual graphic user interface and I just simply set up certain commands and just everything was logical you know I just did every little thing in front of you uh, no tricks and look at this I mean seriously look at this everything is perfectly perfectly set you know all the files are now in their own albums um, and by the way I have uh, uh, yeah I have thousands of music files and uh, you know I'm gonna run this macro now on all of them 
I have been pro- procrastinating for a long, long time. I thought someday I will do this, you know, manually because it takes probably a couple of days, uh, you know, f- to perform something like this for all those files. And I generally don't find time that much time anyway. So uh, now I don't need to find that time. Just that's it. You know, whatever the time I spent so far, that's it. Now I just simply run that macro. I know the keys. When I run those keys, it's just going to do things for me. Unbelievable. So I can't thank these guys enough. I mean, generally, I don't have time to, uh, you know, create the um, video for, uh, I, as you probably, you'll, you'll find there are no videos in my, in my YouTube channel anyway. Uh, there's no channel anyway. But um, this is such an amazing software. Such an amazing software. I don't know why I didn't think about uh, using this kind of software before. Or maybe, uh, maybe, uh, I don't know um, how long these guys have been in existence, but luckily in, in, in 2021, it's available. Uh, so, you know, it's just so amazing, such a hard work these guys have done. And I'm so happy that, uh, you know, I came across uh, to some of their videos, YouTube videos. And, um, uh, you know, finally, I have so many, my life made my life so easy. So, yeah. Look, uh, I may have rambled here and there, uh, but I just wanted to demonstrate everything like uh, you would do at your own, um, at your own uh, like uh, pace at uh, in your own computer in your own laptop. So uh, you know, feel free to download this. You know, this you software you can download from Pitrinac. You can go to. You can go to pitrinac.com. And just simply, this is the website. Just simply download. Uh, you know, I'm sure that when you see the value, uh, you know, you probably may go ahead and, and purchase because it's not very expensive anyway. But um, just you know, less than hundred dollars. And uh, you know, I have a professional edition, and that's why I can run all the commands and everything. But um, you can just simply download the free version and play around with it. And uh, of course, it has little learning curve. Of course, you know, don't expect on day one, uh, you know, all the a command you know you know you saw some of the operations and these and that you know file create and these and that uh, even though i i searched everything and in, in some of them i knew but i wanted you to see basically i can search and i can find and things like that i haven't run all of these commands before um, you know so this is the first time some of the commands that i have run um, but look it's easy uh, once you spend just uh, maybe a couple of days two three days you just within one or two days you know you will find that how this whole thing uh, makes things easy for you and the best thing is the best thing is which i didn't tell you look at anything let's say um let's say this anything oops even if you go uh, double clicked on it you have the examples at, look at the at the bottom of every command you will find their own examples and that makes things so easy because you know then you know exactly what to do all right look i won't take much of your time thank you very much for staying with me and, uh, you know, hopefully this helps somebody be more productive, especially those people who do some kind of repetitive tasks again and again every single day. Uh, you can do so many things. You have so many trigger uh, options and uh, you have so many commands and uh, networking related commands and email related commands and you know, all sorts of things. So I hope uh, this helps somebody. So my my time investment into this is, is worth for somebody's uh, you know help. Look, uh, thanks, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, any comments, let me know. I'm not very active on social media anyway. But uh, if you think I can help you with something, uh, you know, just put a comment, put things in comment, and I will, um, and I will respond. It's okay. You don't need to like and view, <laughs> like and comment, and things like that. I'm not a blogger, so you know, you know what I mean. Uh, if you think this is useful, go and, and download and, and use it. Uh, if you think that's useful, uh, then maybe you come forward and uh, and, and appreciate or you know, uh, the the development team. But Look, thanks guys. Um, thanks for joining me and uh, over and out. So yeah, thanks. I'll just close these things for now. Bye for now.